Am I the asshole? For calling the police on my boyfriend's family? Last year I moved in with my BF and his dad. My BF and I were in a long distance relationship for a few years and I moved across the country to be with him after I finished graduate school. Due to such a large distance I opted to sell my car and buy a new one after moving. When I did this my boyfriend helped me out by loaning me some money to help pay the down payment but I have since paid him back. Last week my BFS older sister who lives in another state came to visit and stayed in the house with us. This was my first time meeting her and I thought she was very nice, but I didn't get to know her well. Two days ago my BF and I were out running errands together and his sister called him to ask when he would be back so she could borrow his car to go hang out with her friends in a town about an hour away. He told her it would be a while and she then asked if it was okay to borrow my car. My boyfriend asked me and I told him I was not comfortable with that and to tell her no. My boyfriend did tell her no, I heard the entire conversation. Well a few hours later my boyfriend and I got home and my car was gone. I was shocked and my boyfriend was confused. When we went into the house his dad informed us that he gave my BFS sister the spare key to my car that was in the lockbox because she said she needed to go somewhere. My boyfriend told him that she asked to drive my car and that we had told her no so he didn't understand why she was allowed to take it and his dad said that since my BF helped pay for the car that it therefore was partly his, which meant his sister had the right to drive it as well. I was absolutely livid and I couldn't believe that anyone would do something like this. My name is the only one on the title, insurance, etc as I am the sole owner. My BF told his dad to call her and tell her to bring my car back immediately and she said she would be home soon. Well after two hours I called the police and reported my car stolen because I was worried that if it got damaged or something then I would be forced to pay the repairs even though it wasn't my fault. My BF's dad and sister were pissed about this and they accused me of trying to get them arrested. They are now demanding that I apologize to them and tell the police it was all a misunderstanding but I really don't want to because I feel that they've tried to take advantage of me. My boyfriend agrees with me but he even said he thinks calling the police to report the car stolen may have been too far. Am I the asshole? Not the asshole. Fuck em. It's funny how the thing that goes too far is always the thing that works. Not the asshole. She asked to borrow your car, you said no. She took the car despite you saying no she stole your car. You reported her for stealing your car because, again, she stole your car. Don't back down, or I predict this sort of thing will happen more in the future with your Sil and Phil. Not the asshole. It wasn't a misunderstanding. She straight up stole your car. If she had gotten arrested, she'd have no one to blame but herself. Also, considering what an I your BF stad is, you should probably look into moving out as soon as you can. Not the asshole. The dad and sister are thieves and fafot. If they get arrested yay. Do not apologize, do not retract the police report. Not the asshole. If they don't want to be accused of stealing then maybe they shouldn't take someone else's property without permission. I just wanna BS your plan because you know you're getting kicked out after this right? The bank loans people money for houses all the time. Doesn't mean they can show up with a suitcase and move in. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. She stole your car. You are not the asshole. They asked to borrow your car. You declined and your boyfriend's sister took the car regardless. That is what is known as theft and you should not tolerate it. You did the right thing by calling the police because if she did damage the car, you may have been liable. You should not apologize for your actions and instead they should apologize to you. If you do decide to press charges, you should consider how this would affect your relationship with your boyfriend. Good luck. My judgment is definitely not the asshole. But my question here is where is the dad's car that he would have a right to loan to his daughter? Thoughtful face. Not the asshole if she did not want cops called she should not have taken something that does not belong to her. 
I had a roommate do the same thing to me and then wrecked while drinking. Not the asshole, you tried to resolve the issue without involving anyone outside of the family and they decided that they were above the law. If I were you I'd look into moving out as soon as possible and I would make sure you had all copies of the key until you do. It wouldn't hurt to set up a camera in your room to ensure other possessions aren't disturbed when you and your BF aren't around. Not the asshole. That sounds like a whole circus you can now completely avoid. Start looking to move out now, or things could get nasty since you're still living in their house. Not the asshole. Convo should go like this op did you take the car? Sis yes op did you have my permission to take the car? Sis no op that's called stealing. You stole a car. I don't see where I'm the bad guy in this scenario. Not the asshole. She asked, you said no. The answer wasn't good enough so she asked her daddy if it was okay. I think you need to move ASAP. Why couldn't she use her dad's car? Not the asshole. If one doesn't want to get in trouble for stealing, then one shouldn't steal. Also since your BF's father seems to think his son's belongings are his, you guys need to try and get out of that house ASAP. This is going to continue to be an issue. Not the asshole she asked, you said no. She then proceeded to take the car without your permission. You did the right thing here. But if I were you I'd look at moving out ASAP as this will cause a lot of strain. But even so, do not back down. Not the asshole they took your car without your permission. That's the definition of theft. Dude move out they're always going to think they have a right to your shit while you're there. You said no. She took it anyway. She's an R. Your boyfriend's dad decided the car you paid for that's in your name was also somehow his son's. And that somehow that meant his daughter was also entitled to use it despite having been told no. He's an R. Your BF's sister said she'd be home soon and still hadn't returned two hours later. She's an R again. Not the asshole but I hope you're looking for somewhere else to live. Not the asshole. She was told no and still took it. That is the definition of stealing. I would start looking for somewhere else to stay though and get back all copies of keys and keep on you. And get cameras on your car. To sister I'm sorry that you stole my car, after I said you could not use it, resulting in me having to call the police and tell them that you've indeed stolen my car. To the dad I'm sorry that you decided to take it upon yourself to give permission for someone to use the car that I own 100 of when I already told them they couldn't, and are now embarrassed. There's their apologies. Nadar. Not the asshole. What else were you supposed to do? What consequence could you offer? It was already stolen. You live in his father's house? You had absolutely no way to set a firm and immediate consequence to their theft. Now, they'll think twice before thinking they can steal you stuff. But that only happens if you follow through. There is no misunderstanding. No is a full fucking sentence. She heard it. Your BF's father heard it. You don't owe them shit. Especially leniency. Not the asshole. Might be time to move. No apology needed. Not the asshole you said no, you meant no. Not the asshole. If she had been in an accident or something else, your reporting it stolen would have been a saving grace. She did steal it. That's a fact. And your boyfriend should have told his parents that you paid him back. They are all T.A. Not the asshole. You did exactly the right thing. You don't help yourself to someone else's car when permission was denied. Not the asshole. She had no right to be driving your car that you own and pay for. Not the asshole. If she didn't want the police called then she shouldn't have stolen the car. Not the asshole. Even if your BF was co-owner. He also said no to her using the car. She did not have permission, therefore she stole it and his father enabled it. Nadar. That's your car. Not his just cause he chipped in a little money. Pay him back ASAP. Get all copies of your key and keep them hidden or at a friend's house. Not the asshole that's stealing a car. 
You tried to resolve the situation by telling them to bring it back which led to the cops being called because you never gave permission. Not the asshole, no is a full sentence. You may want to look into your own place to live. For now, get your own lockbox to store your keys and other valuables. Not the asshole. And good for you setting a seriously hard boundary the very first time. I do hope your BF set his father straight that he in no way owns any part of that car. Not the asshole. You said no, she took it without permission. That is considered stealing. On top of that, went behind you and your BF's back to get the keys. Even if not reported stolen, police would still identify that as stealing. The sister has no reasonable excuses for what she did. She was told no to someone else's property. The father may be trying to keep the daughter close with siding with her but otherwise he should have been disappointed in her for her actions against you and your BF I know all the vehicle information is only in your name. Not the asshole normally, I'm not a huge advocate for calling the police so quickly however, this family seems like they need hard consequence to their actions. They will continue to abuse boundaries otherwise. Not the asshole she stole your car with dad's approval. Don't apologize and don't drop the charges. Actions have consequences. Not the asshole. Can I use your car? No. Takes keys be back soon two hours later. No. Yes correct. I am trying to get you arrested. You stole my car. Any accidents would be my responsibility. You were uninsured because I refused you permission. Don't steal cars.